Hello everybody, this is Genjeft here, and we are recording a battle, this is actually a replay, of the new Red Dragon game. It was quite an interesting replay, which is why I'm, re why I'm recording it. Now, I ended up here by myself, with, well, not entirely, I think Raph. Either Raph or John stayed here. One of them forgot that their fob was over here, and... Well, they left their fob over here, and the other one actually fought with me. And my friend, Jester, will be joining us. Good, he was good to skip the deployment. Uh, we kind of screwed up. Oh, I kind of screwed up and moved that, so I brought it back to Lima. And we can see my teammates are advancing very effectively, as usual. This is a good team. The enemy side is doing pretty well, too. Moving rapidly. They don't really have enough force for this, because this guy has much better helicopters than he does. And what we have here is a lot of force that went to the center. In fact, there was almost nothing on, the, on their right or left. A bunch of guys went center. And this one guy... Captain Soban. Well... You know what's coming when you have... Either, either one, this guy's a supply deck, and he's going to be supplying everybody, or two, there's going to be a lot of freaking artillery. Most of you know which one it's going to be. <clears throat> this guy, Pope. Shout out to Pope. He was a fantastic player. And also, it's the Pope. <laughs> oh. Yes, I say he was a fantastic player, and then he loses two helicopters. <laughs> Like that right off the bat. Those are expensive. Guys. That was it. So yeah, he was good up until like that. Oh, I'm supporting him with some artillery. Because what I have today, I think, is my mechanized deck. Yeah, I've got these things. It's mechanized. It's motorized, actually. That's Jester the Rabbit Slayer. To anticipate coming. I put these guys into a forward position in Oscar, expecting them to show up. I was going to kill them with those things. And the Pope disappeared in November on the left. Go, Pope. And Raph just got himself So yeah, there's a lot of NATO players right in this area here. Mostly airborne decks. a good forward deployment. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we're back. You know what's infuriating about the phone? I can't mute the thing. So it just keeps ringing. But all. So, I'm putting a command unit into Oscar. I've got some scouts there. The Pope has the left. It's actually, I'm kind of surprised, surprised that we got this place as easily as we did. <clears throat> and, uh, Jester's backing us up there. Like, I guess it's a reserve kind of thing. These guys are burning. I don't know why they don't have a command unit. And on the right, we have advanced way <laughs> forward. Way forward. Oh, we've got a North Korean deck here. Good lord. The Chinese and the North Koreans and Red Dragons suck. Regardless of where you, where, whether you got a Class A deck or a Class C deck, they just suck. They're like the East Germans of uh, air land battle. It's just bad. <clears throat> oh, look, my hawks. So yeah, we've got a bunch of NATO players focusing on this area. Is that Marines tank? Yep, that's the Marine tank. So they get that thing. I don't know what HC is stand for. Short for. I know HA is short for heavy armor, which is a variation of the Abrams they have moved. Of course, the, the Pope thinks Rabbit's here because he sees. Oh, Rabbit, never mind. Rabbit Slayer. If I got my friend trying to his name back. Of course, he's over. So yeah, our right has advanced very nicely, the left is here, and the center is a giant doggo.
massive blue in the center. They really went hard for some reason. I'm not quite sure why they went so Those are counter battery artillery. I don't know why he's using them for regular bombardment. I found they're not particularly effective for that. But yeah, so the right is quiet. We're advancing on the left. Over here. Pope has like no resistance. So we end up advancing on the left pretty heavily. And getting a good amount of terrain. The centers were all Reaching here from out there. Come on. That is nuts. Well, zoom in. It's not the correct range. When you zoomed out, the sense of scale kind of goes away. These infantry have taken. They're still holding. We've got the Pope coming in from ETRs. He's just disabled Yankee. So now we can move a command unit up and get that reinforcement point. There's another BTR 80A driving down the road here. He's also using a motorized deck. I have to notice that. It's nice. And these guys are still solidly focused here. In center. Like the, it's like the entirety of NATO is is like in this area here and a little bit here, and they're being attacked here as well. So they're focused here, and then here, completely ignoring this side. <laughs> they're also ahead right now. Jester there seem to have everything taken care of on the left. As I can tell, just by the force of the attack they're setting in, they're walking, they're marching their own marines into napalm. Oh my god. I get accused of sending my men to their death. <laughs> well, yeah, that was actually my spook. <laughs> the shells coming in, and every time they fire, you get this muzzle flash and smoke, which you can see. I 
I would reverse it and demonstrate this. Just to show, we're going to go to. We'll go to mine. We know the artillery is firing. What you see when they're firing is this. Look where the, when they're firing, you can see those puffs of clouds and the muzzle flash. And then from there, you can decide where to drop counter battery. Unfortunately, these don't have the range for counter battery duty. Well, they can take care of Mind you, I have no problems whatsoever with people deploying this much artillery. I know so many people in the forums complain about it, but you know what? This is what someone wants to do, and they're supporting their team correctly. He was supporting his team very well. Stop crying. It's a legit strategy. It's a strategy or tactic. It doesn't matter. He was doing a very good job supporting his team. This artillery fire was able to push us off. And yeah, we've got our own support. It's good. We have our own support. Really? When they bunch them like this, if someone on our side had counter battery, you don't need a lot of guns to destroy this. Just four pieces of, like, North Korean artillery dropped into here, you'll take three or four of those guns out per volley. So just throw a handful of counter battery into them. It's not a hard to count. This is it's, it's not a cry. over here, the Pope... I can't believe they didn't do anything whatsoever. They were completely target-focused. They didn't even notice what was going on on the right. On the right, our left. We have Yankee. We're in Zulu. Jester sending a command unit into X-Ray. It's just not friendly for them. Instead, they're focused here and trying to get golf. Like, almost all of them are focused there, it seems like. Not even attacking here. This guy could have attacked here. Oh, no, not really. That's actually a pretty good defense, so I don't blame him for not attacking. He's got some troops forward. Okay, they're good. My stuff died, so I'm setting up another bunch of things back here. To counterattack with. Break down from this all my defensive plans involve. Okay, they break this point, we counterattack. <laughs> oh look, it's Nessie. They're invariably flying face first into a bunch of anti-air. And they're going to die. So I like to use the aircraft in for purposes. Regardless of the fact that in real life the SU-22 has like a laser turret that can move independently of the aircraft so it looks around, which would normally cause which would normally drive uh, uh, help the targeting systems on the missile 
but that's not put into the game, so the thing just flies straight into its death. <clears throat> now, the Pope is slowly moving into Zulu with Jester. This guy realizes, shit, something bad is happening, and deploys a Kiowa. Which the Pope probably kills. just realized it. Ah, look. They'll be important later. This guy is getting to the defense up on their left. And I'm not pronouncing that. Is preparing to attack. He's apparently attacked with some small forces. I wouldn't. I wouldn't attack right. I wouldn't attack what you have. I'm not gonna get anywhere. So yeah, they've just managed. They, they've got golf, but they don't. There's so much firing going on still, they can't put a computer in there. So they bring in an angle. The Rabbit Slayer has moved up with the Pope. Which is just, this is just a mess for them. And these are all good aircraft, too. I saw this guy driving down the road. I figured he was going to try to attack here, but he doesn't. This guy surrendered. He was on our team, and he lost out on points for it. That's his problem. Because he thinks we're losing. Which, for him, we did! because he quit. But that is his own fault. And so tough, I don't care. <clears throat> so we've moved up. Their Abrams have moved into here. And they're prepared to defend, finally, their right flank. Which the Pope did a very good job. He didn't just rush forward, he did it in small bits, and they didn't notice. And hence, he was able to get all the way to Zulu before they really reacted, which was very good on his part. And he's being backed up by my friend Jester, who's also bringing in T-80s just to add to the effect. I have a small mobile reserve to the rear of the center for when they start trying to push through this valley. What the hell is this command unit just sitting there? Captain Solban has his artillery up. I think he gets more artillery still as well as time goes on. Oh, no. My harassment begins. Because I know where his guns are, because I can see where the flare, the f muzzle flashes were originally. Let's go to Captain Soban. They do see my helicopters moving. So they do fire them. that was actually intended to come after me because they flew right by me and my guys just happened to be spot that could be shot at. Why he's driving me? Oh yes, because they've got the shots. So I get some of them with these helicopters. Don't get that many of these shots. But I've got him thinking. And as of this point, he has stopped that. 
Oh, look what's coming! Remember those things I mentioned earlier? Those BTR-70s and BTR-90s that joined them? Yeah, they're going down the road. What does this guy not have here? Defenses. So off we go, guys. Oh, yeah, they're fully loaded, too. <laughs> this should be fun. T-80Ms. I like the morale. They don't get immediately stunned and panicked by taking a hand. We're going to be over here. <clears throat> ah, does he see it yet? No! He does not see it yet! <laughs> but we know it's coming. And poof, they see it. Right there. Far too late for them to do anything about it. And the BTR-90 is open fire. So, followed by the BTR-70 is And they're just charging right out. And he's still calling in more guns. Let's look at this as they drive down the road. This guy reacts, but it's just too late now. I didn't defend this. Always keep an eye on this. You didn't know I was coming until I was on top of you and proceeded to destroy everything. Your entire force is dead. And then you keep driving your artillery in range. And they keep dying. A1s. All this stuff just to react to that. Oh, it's all his stuff, too. So he didn't quit right now. Bit belated, dude. And Dragon Scale leaves right then, too. Our own, this guy here. By this point, they're pretty much done. I've made them set fire to their own fobs. Now this guy is stuck only as a supply deck. But we've caught up. We're ahead. And I've got myself nearly 5,000 points in almost purely artillery. Which might be added. Some other stuff might be added. Job is done. The artillery is done. Jester has been forming his T-80s. He's causing these guys some problems. The Pope has his T-80 UMs. Moving forward, because these guys are distracted over here, trying to make sure I have. Look at all their fobs that have been used. Up. I think that was cool. So yeah, you know this, these roads here. You don't have to, like, really heavily defend them or anything. In fact, if you just put some infantry here, just a handful, I would have been stopped. Immediately would have been stopped. There was four infantry hiding in the woods who stopped that. But no, they left it open. No recon or anything, and didn't see me until I had crested the ridge for all intents and purposes. And his artillery is all gone. I got 5,000 points. <laughs> so yeah. We'll see how this ends. That was fun. I enjoyed that. And that's why I don't mind. Always
always look around the map when you're fighting. These guys here were doing, didn't need my help because they were doing very well there. These guys here needed help, but there's more than one way to help people when you've got all the team focusing on attack in one area. And these guys weren't doing anything. By attacking here and destroying the guy's artillery, one, I took out the supporting artil artillery that was helping drive the attack here, which stopped that. Two, I distracted these players and made them deploy all of this stuff here into their rear in a panic. With little birds and zippos, and those artillery don't count, they could deploy them before then, and all these M18s. And a couple of Abrams, which I don't know where they went. So it's distracted them from here as well, which allowed my friend, Jester, and the Pope to move forward. Hooray, Pope. And it's also... They've lost a lot of firepower, so they can't really continue their attack in the center. That move <laughs> destroyed the game for NATO. Only because, one, they didn't leave this thing... They didn't have anything guarding this, and two... I happen to look around the map and go, where where can I do the most damage? And now my helicopters are coming from the helicopter school. I thought that thing was on the aircraft missiles. so badly damaged that it just takes a handful of artillery rounds to kill them. Hooray. Oh yeah, it's my artillery doing it too. So that gives me even more points. Hooray. Now because of this attack from Jester and the Pope, he hated using T-72. Yeah, T-72s are cool. Oh well. But yeah, now that Jester and the Pope are here, they're attacking. All of these tanks, if we had not been, been here attacking, would have been down here. So in the meantime, we've been able to build up a fairly nice defense in this area, so in case they do try to attack, they're going to get hammered. But no, they're too busy throwing everything they've got in the and losing a lot. And then we win. Target blindness was a big thing here, because the enemy was too focused on attacking center to realize that its flanks were insecure. Now, having good enough recon came into effect here, because they didn't have enough recon to see my attack coming and wipe out their entire artillery force, almost. Uh, that was fun. They focused too much on attacking center. Jester and the Pope went around the left, the other guys went to the right, seized a lot of ground, didn't do anything beyond that, and my enemy was not paying attention to where my attack was going to go, which was going to go wherever I could screw them the most. Somehow. And I like to find odd avenues of attack like that, which wasn't really particularly odd, that was a blatantly obvious attack avenue, but they never defended it. As a result, Captain Soban <laughs> lost all of his artillery in one go. If he had just had a handful of infantry up forward, meh. But yeah. So no, artillery is not overpowered. It can be countered. As exampled here. There's many other ways to counter artillery too. Learn them. Stop crying. Just learn. I had fun. I hope these guys had fun for a while. I'm pretty sure Captain Soban didn't have that much fun. I enjoyed it. Fun game. Maybe more will be coming.